so this is a continuation of the uh, part four where I've made some changes. I put a relay, a bit bigger than this, but it's basically a 240 volt relay with one set of contacts in it. I'm going to do a drawing a bit later on, but I'll just show you the, uh, the results of that. That relay operates the run capacitor and it's self latching so we've got a start button and a stop button so the mains is already switched on over there so all you need to do now instead of having to switch it on and then the motor humming and uh, all that sort of thing now you it's switched on press it it starts press it it stops just like that so we'll just go upstairs and do a drawing of this it's relatively simple once you get ahead round the fact that when the relay pulls in the power output of the relay you take a tapping of that and go back to the coil but this stop button is in that link so when you break the link the relay will will drop out okay so let's do the drawing there are the three motor connections somebody um, somebody emailed me about using the earth wire in that black cable as a power ca a power cable and uh, color coding and fair comment, if you move the machine on to somebody else, they're going to think it's Earth. So either use a different cable with red, blue and yellow in it, or where you're using the Earth, put some tape on it. So put it as black or something like that. But you're better off using the, a different colour code. So thanks for that. I was just being pragmatic at the time. Now then, what we've got here is we've got a neutral there and we've got a line over here that's in and I'm following my notes here to my best of my ability so neutral goes straight through to one of the connections but off, also off neutral you've got the stop switch now the stop switch is what's called normally closed so therefore it's on until you press it so I'm going to draw it like that so you press that and it opens it up okay then we from the live we've got another switch but this time it's a normally open switch so you press it and it closes the switch Okay, so live goes to there, and from that point we have a capacitor which goes to there, and that is the start capacitor. Okay. Just busy reading my notes whilst I'm here. Right, in the middle we have the relay. So that's the relay coil and we have a contact and a contact. Okay, this is a normally open contact. So therefore until the relay is energized there is no connection. Far side of that goes to there and also goes through the run capacitor to there right that makes sense as far as now then we go from live to there okay and until that relay is energized there's no power going through there and until that is energized there's no power going through there right then we go from there and 
I'm going to have to go round about the houses here, along there to there. So when that's energised, the start capacitor comes in and power goes to that relay. So therefore then that pulls in and puts power to there and to the run capacitor. So what we're wanting to do is then when we let go of that, we want this bit to keep working. So this other side of the coil goes to there. So you press that and whatever's happening here, it stops the flow of power through that coil. So those relays drop out, those contacts. Now then, the only tricky bit, well it's not so much tricky, but the only thing that is essential is we take a link from here and we go across there and back to there. That's not connected there. So let's, let's talk through it. You press that button and you keep it in for a second. The start capacitor is connected. Power goes along here through that relay. Those contacts pull in. Power goes to there and to the run capacitor. But it also goes back to itself. So when you let go of there, the start capacitor is disconnected, but that coil is still energized because it's self-feeding. Once those have contacted together, once power has got to there, that link makes sure the relay stays energized until you press that button and then it stops. And as you've seen, it works. So then you've got a nice tidy job, stop, start, no would be ever the wiser that it was a three phase motor. Hopefully that's the end of this series, but you never can tell. This idea, by the way, I was talking to a mate of mine, and he said, uh, I've seen your last video, there's just one thing, a relay. And I went, yeah, know what you're talking about. So Steamy and Alan put forward the the uh, idea that I should do another video just on this bit, just to finish the whole thing off. 